What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about my skincare. Now I get a lot of comments on random videos where I get really lovely, lovely compliments about my skin. Uh, some of you ask me, can I do a skincare routine and stuff like that? I will link to any videos that I have done skincare routine in the info bar below. But today I'm just gonna talk about the products that I actually use and I am actually loving at the moment. I am very loyal to products that work for my skin, but once they're finished, I'm always curious to try something else. I tend to go back and a few of them that I have here, I am going back um, to them again, um, but I, I love all of them and I feel like they really make my skin look a lot better. And one thing I also want to say is that my skincare is just to prevent my skin from aging very rapidly. For those of you who don't know, I am 40 years old and my skin is not perfect. Obviously my skin is aging, but I want my skin to look at its best at whatever stage that it is, if that makes any sense for you guys. So I do hope that you guys enjoy this video, find it helpful, and let's get started. So as I mentioned before, I have gone back to some products that I love so much. And the first one is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel Cleanser. And I absolutely love this line. I've done a review on the entire line uh, or at least the products that are available here in the UK and I will link to that video in the info bar below. This product is amazing. I always, always notice a huge difference within a week's time of using this on my skin. My, feel, my skin feels a lot plumper. Um, it feels smoother. I love the scent and it's just an enjoyable product to use that I would highly recommend. It's definitely one of my favorites from the line. The one that I'm, that I have not tried yet from this particular line is the eye cream. I'm not entirely sure if it's available here in the UK. I know in the US there is an eye cream and hopefully I will try it in the future. The next product is a Clinique product that I have right here. This is the Clinique Pep Start 2-in-1 uh, Exfoliating Cleanser. This is a sample. I love it. Um, it's amazing. Like it really polishes my skin without being too harsh, without irritating my skin. It just leaves my skin feeling really smooth. And I notice a huge difference when I use this and then I'm going to apply my other skincare or just makeup. It really makes the skin feel smooth. It really removes all the the dirt that's on it, um, any dead skin. Obviously this is not a product that you would use every single day. I would use this maybe once a week. I think it's more than enough. Um, I will be buying the full size because I like it so much. I'm not entirely sure how much it costs, but I will link to this in the info bar below as all the products that I'm gonna be talking about in this video for you guys. But I really love it and highly recommend. For moisturizers, I have two here from the drugstore that I love. The first one, of course, is by Neutrogena from the Hydro Boost line. This one is called the Hydro Boost Water Gel. They also have a cream version of this, which I feel like it's more for normal to dry skin. This one, I would say, is for normal to combination. And I have recently picked up this product is completely full. I finished my previous one. And again, it's one of those products that it's amazing because it works so well on my combination to oily skin. It makes my skin feel plump. I notice a huge difference just by using this line when I apply my makeup. My skin looks a lot more youthful because the line has hyaluronic acid, which has, um, ingredients to make your skin look a little bit more rejuvenated. Um, I've spoke so much about these products on my, on my channel. Please make sure to check those out in the info bar below so you can have a little bit more information on the line itself. But I do really like this. I can wear it underneath my makeup on its own and as well in the evening as a night cream. The other one that I have here is by Boots, which comes in this uh, yellow tub right here. It's called the Oil Evening Prim Rose with Vitamin E. And this product is very, very rich. Um, it doesn't say for what type of skin it is for, which is a shame. I wish that some products at the drugstore would really tell you on their description if they're for normal to dry or combination skin and so on. 
but I love this product. It's so rich that I only need a tiny little bit. I use this at night, but if you have really dry skin, I would highly recommend this to use it during the day. Vitamin E is a great um, ingredient for our skin. It also reju rejuvenates your skin, makes it look a little bit more youthful and plumper and stuff like that. So do really like this. It's very, very inexpensive. I think it costs around the two pound mark. Um, and this one, I think it's around the 12 pound mark, but I got it on promotion at Boots. I think it's still on offer and I really love this too. I don't talk about oils all that much on my channel, but there is one in my skincare routine that I absolutely love. It's by L'Oreal. It's a rebalancing oil and it's from their Extraordinary line. Again, I've done a review on the entire line and I'll put that in the info bar below. I love that they made an oil for combination to oily skin. As I said, drugstore products or brands, a lot of times they don't. Everything just works for normal to dry skin and us oilier girls just look like grease balls. Uh, but this product is amazing. I use it at night. I don't use it every day now, spring, summer, because I think it's a little bit rich. But in um, autumn, winter, I wear this every single night before I apply my night cream and it works amazing, amazingly well. It de definitely makes my skin feel a little bit more rebalanced. My skin doesn't um, produce that much oil, so it doesn't look as greasy. Um, and I love it. I really, really like this product and I've been using it for a really long time. So I've only reached half or I'm nearly there now. So it's a good value for money type of product that I love. Next, I have a night cream from Bobbi Brown. This is the hydrating eye cream. They also have an extra hydrating, something like that. I think it's called the Extra Repair Eye Cream, which is a little bit more expensive than this one, and it probably does a lot more. I used that one years and years ago, uh, but the one that I'm using at the moment is the hydrating one, and I love it. I've been using this now for nearly a year, I would say. A little goes a long way. You don't have to use a lot. It retails for 32 pounds, I think, so it's the most expensive product I have here to show you guys. Eye creams are so important. If your concealer is creasing, if you feel that your skin around your eyes is tight and you're starting to show fine lines that you've never seen before, it's because your skin is dehydrated and you need an eye cream. It's all trial and error. There's some at the drugstore that may work for you. I know there's one from um, Sanctuary Spa, which retails around 18 pounds, and it actually works really well. Um, very similar to this one. So there are a few that are expensive for the drugstore, but they're still not as expensive as a higher end product. But this one is amazing. I definitely feel a difference on my eyes. Um, my concealer lasts a lot longer. My skin doesn't feel dry, it's just hydrated. It feels great. And I highly recommend eye creams. Not this one in particular, if you don't wanna spend 32 pounds, I think it's great. And you should try Bobbi Brown eye creams, but there's a lot of them out there that you can try, get a few samples, try them on when you go to the uh, beauty counter, see how you feel about them. But this one is definitely one to try. I love it and it really, really improved my overall skin around my eyes. I have three makeup removers here that I really wanna to talk to you guys about. Um, Makeup removers are essential for my skincare routine because who wants to have makeup on their skin? It's very, very damaging. So two of them are from Garnier, so drugstore, and the other one is by Clinique. I'm gonna start with the drugstore options. This is the Garnier Micellar Water for Sensitive Skin. It's for face, eyes, and lips. It's a non-rinsing formula, in case you're not familiar with micellar waters. Um, this one is for sensitive skin, if I've not mentioned that before. And I do really like this product. It removes all my makeup. Um, it removes mascara and eyeliner, even if it's waterproof, and it's not irritating. I find that a lot of stuff that I put on my eyes kind of like gives me just a little bit of irritation, but I think it's just because I have really sensitive eyes and not because the product is damaging my skin. So I do really, really like this one and highly recommend if you're looking for a micellar water. The other one, which is new to my skincare routine, is the Garnier micellar cleansing gel wash. I'm obsessed with this product because it works amazing, like so good. It just makes your foundation, your makeup, everything on your face just completely melt away. This is a product that 
I don't know. I just love it so much. And I'm just going to read here. This one, for example, it's for combination to oily skin. Um, it's also for face, eyes, and lips. It has no perfume. It has grape extract. It removes makeup, cleanses, mattifies, and it's a non-rinsing of a formula. Now I'm going to be very, very honest with you guys. Uh, sorry, it is a rinse off formula because it's a cleansing um, wash gel. I love it. It's it's my favorite, favorite drugstore product to remove my makeup. And I don't want to talk too much about it because you guys already see that I'm obsessed with it. If you want a more in-depth video on my cellar waters, that's something that maybe I can do in the future. But this one so far is my favorite one. And the product from Clinique that I want to talk about, which I absolutely love as well, is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. Um, I've done a review on this. I've um, compared it to a Body Shop one. If you haven't seen that video, I will link to it in the info bar below. I love it. Um, still have quite a bit here and I use it quite often, although I'm kind of like um, interchanging this between the uh, micellar gel wash by um, Garnier because I love it so much. But this product is amazing. It's It has a lot of skincare benefits and it works amazingly well for my skin. It's a little bit more expensive. It costs around 22 pounds, but it's definitely a product that I would highly recommend. It's for any skin type as far as I'm aware. Um, and it's perfect for every day for you to just kind of like treat your skin after you remove your makeup. This will definitely get everything off and make your skin feel really, really soft and supple. The last products that I want to talk about are face masks and again the products that I'm going to talk about I have done a review on them and I will list them in the info bar below for you guys. These are the clay masks by L'Oreal. These are my favorite. I absolutely love all three. If you want a little bit more information please make sure to watch that video because I really go into depth and I also do a demo of how I apply these on my face. I get a lot of questions about these masks. If you have really sensitive skin please be aware that these products have perfume in them. They have really strong scents. I don't want to say it's perfume because I'm not entirely sure. So the scents are very very um, overwhelming. I enjoy them, but if you are sensitive, maybe it's something that you need to kind of like consider before buying them. They've never upset my skin. I love the Detox Clay Mask. It's amazing if your skin is starting to feel kind of like rough and you can feel dead skin on it and stuff like that or kind of like dirt because you can actually feel it. This product is amazing. After the detox, I always use the purity mask. I use them on their own first, kind of like one after the other. I don't use them at the same time. I don't think I've ever done that. This one will give you a tingling sensation. It's great for combination to oily skin. And I tend to use it mostly where I get oily, like on the T-zone, on the tops of my cheeks, and a little bit on my chin. Love it. And if I want to polish my skin, then I use the glow mask which smells amazing it smells very fresh um, and natural again I'm not entirely sure if these products have perfume they probably do but they don't upset my skin I love them and I highly recommend a face mask because sometimes your skin really needs that help that plump to, to make it look fresh again a mask will definitely do the job these three highly recommend or anything else that you actually have in your skincare routine already, make sure that you do a mask at least once a week. You will see a huge difference in your skin. So that is it for my skincare products that I am currently loving. I do hope that this video kind of like answers a few questions because I do get them a lot on my skincare. If you still want to see a current skincare routine, please let me know. Not a lot has changed. I still do the same things. I just kind of like change the products. Or if you want an in-depth review of anything that you've seen here that I haven't done already, please make sure to comment below so I can get those videos up for you guys. If you're new, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.